Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Today we're going to talk about sad, insecure people who have no life and hate people that do good things in the world. And apparently that's a large part of our population, which is incredibly upsetting. Before we get into that though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Alrighty, so last month, Mr. Beast, who, you know, we've talked about it before, seems like a great guy, I love his videos. He made a video last month where he helped cure 1,000 people's blindness, and that was on his main channel. The internet lost its damn mind, and they were so angry at him for being charitable. We can run some of the clips here. I did an entire video about it. You can watch it. I'll put the link in the description below. It was absurd that no matter how far you go with these people, they will always find a reason to be upset because that is literally their principles. Lucky for these people who get angry at everything, Mr. Beast just released a video where he went to Africa and he gave 20,000 kids new pairs of shoes. 20,000. Is there a way to be angry at that? Yes, there is. For hundreds of thousands of kids in South Africa, the only thing standing between them and an education is a simple pair of shoes. But before tackling this major problem by donating 20,000 pairs of shoes, we flew to Johannesburg, South Africa, where we found a charity called Barefoot No More that uses these plastic granules, and then it goes through all these tubes and does a bunch of other complicated mechanical stuff that eventually creates the perfect seamless shoe. Whoa, these are actually really nice. So not only is Mr. Beast doing something that is objectively amazing and heartwarming by getting these kids shoes, he is doing it sustainably. That should be making even more people happy. He is working with a nonprofit that is already on the ground doing work there. He is doing it sustainably. He is using recycled materials. He is making sure that these kids are able to get an education because they now can get to school. And people are upset about this. And the funny thing is, after last month and after the fiasco that was the curing blindness video, people knew that this was gonna happen. Like right when the video was released, they were like, oh God, here here we go. Somebody said, I wonder what Hassan Piker will complain about this time. I'm sure he's coming up with something absolutely profound to say on his stream. <laughs> Got it. Somebody else said, wow, not 20,001? What a jerk. I can't wait for the haters to find flaws in this. And somebody said, the lighting is racist. I am surprised that I have not seen a comment yet that is saying, wow, the white man going to help the small black children. I am shocked. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. I'm sure that they are, you know, equating it to some kind of colonialism, but I'm expecting that it's there. Now, somebody asked the genuine question after seeing a lot of these actual hateful comments. Somebody said, why do people hate him? I understand that he makes money off of this and his tax write-offs, but that doesn't make what he's doing selfish. He is still using his money to help others. Somebody commented and said, they hate him because what he does makes them think about how little they do to help people and they don't like feeling bad about themselves. So it's easier just to hate him. I mean, I could end the episode right there, guys. Like that is spot on. That one comment explains so much in our society right now. People are so insecure. They do not want to see others doing better than them. They do not want to see others doing more than them. They do not want to see others being actually tolerant and loving. And so they lash out, they get angry and they use baseless attacks. Somebody tweeted, this is exactly what I think when I see Mr. Beast's content. And it's a tweet from 2020, I think. And this person says, every heartwarming human interest story in America is like, he raised $20,000 to keep 200 orphans from being crushed in the orphan crushing machine and then never asks why an orphan crushing machine exists or why you need to pay to prevent it from being used in the first place. So that is people's main complaint with Mr. Beast doing this philanthropic and charitable work is that it's not the government and the system fixing itself. It's an individual. It's a very, very, very wealthy and successful man going in and fixing the problem. And I do not see the issue here. It's like you claim to want wealthy people to give their fair share, to be involved, to help people that are less fortunate. And then when you do, when you see it in action, you still find a way to be angry about it because it's not enough. Okay, then what are you doing? What are you doing to fix the system? Tweeting about it? No, kick rocks, I do not care. Actually go have some stake in the matter because just yelling about it online does nothing. Somebody else said, let me know when y'all catch up and realize how weird this mother is. He's Ellen for white dudes. Okay, well, Ellen is apparently a monster. Like that is what we learned from the last few years. not equating Mr. Beast to Ellen. And also, and this is coming from somebody who used to love Ellen, Ellen is helping less fortunate suburban moms get new TVs. This is on a different level, so just quiet down. Somebody else said, it would be really nice if Mr. Beast fans could grow a brain and realize that their hero is basically just producing struggle porn at this point. His acts of kindness don't solve any of the underlying issues that cause the problems that he is very temporarily solving. So would you rather him do nothing? You are saying that because he cannot fix the entire problem, because he cannot eradicate 
shoelessness, because he cannot eradicate blindness, that he cannot eradicate poverty, that he shouldn't even try, that he shouldn't even use his money to try and make a difference. If he didn't, you would get pissed off at him because he is the most successful influencer and he would be ridiculously wealthy and he would be doing nothing and he would still find a problem with it. You literally just want to be angry because that's the only thing you know how to do. I guarantee if you change your mentality, if you actually show some damn gratitude, your life would be better. You would be happier. I promise you. I know that's shocking. And on top of that, Mr. Beast is far from as wealthy as he could be because he literally puts his own money into these videos. He puts his own money into his charity, into his philanthropy, and you're still finding ways to be angry. Like, come on, actually go outside and interact with people, try to make a difference and then come back and we can have a conversation. And also Mr. Beast is not saying that he is fixing all of the world's problems, but he is certainly making a dent, probably the biggest dent that one individual can make. He also has a chocolate company and people have been going around ruining his displays at Walmart and breaking his chocolates because they are so angry at him. Apparently this is a thing that everybody's doing now. Like what the fourth Mr. Beast Feastables display destroyed? Eight more Walmarts to go. I genuinely don't get it. You just love hating somebody. That is a very, very sad way to live your life. That's all that I can say. People praising things like this, like good guy Mr. Beast, ignore the reality that he makes a profit from these types of videos. This isn't really charity. Now, Mr. Beast actually responded to this guy and responded to a couple of other comments like this, and he was so kind about it. He said, no hate, you probably just haven't seen this channel, but it actually is a charity, and I obviously don't profit from it. 100% of revenue from Beast Philanthropy goes towards running my food banks and helping ease human suffering. And since inception, I've personally put in millions into beast philanthropy that's the whole point make content around helping people to generate more money to help more people like that was genuine that was not passive aggressive at all he is literally trying to show people that what he is doing is good and that he's not trying to create struggle porn in order to make more money this video was not posted on his regular channel it was posted on his beast philanthropy channel which also has millions and millions of subscribers this channel in the description says that all of the money from revenue, from sponsorships, from merch, from everything goes directly to helping people, to his philanthropy, to the food banks, to all of his charitable endeavors. He is taking his platform and he is taking his job and he has found a way to turn it into something which could objectively change the world. If he was a lesser person, he could still be just sitting with his normal channel making millions and doing none of this. But he has gone the extra 10,000 miles to try to change people's lives and you're still angry about it. His critics are so sad and bitter that they cannot get over themselves to see this. And they claim that it's because of the system and the Jimmy, Mr. Beast, you know, isn't fixing it, but it really just reeks of insecurity. Like that's what it boils down to. Thankfully, the comments under the video itself were so positive. So I'm gonna leave you with that because I think it's better to leave you guys with a positive note at least once in a while to let you see that there's hope in the world. Like somebody said, honestly, mate, you're a godsend. I cannot wait to be able to help others as much as you. Somebody else said, while so many complain about how messed up the world is, this guy goes and makes the world a better place. Huge win, man. Another commenter posted this. A man once said, if you wanna test a man's character, give him power. Despite all of the success and money Jimmy has, he still tries to help people and that is such a beautiful thing. Mr. Beast is literally inspiring people to be better, to find ways to help their community. He is bringing light into this world. Like leave him alone. Do not let your insecurity and your bitterness get in the way of what he is doing. And I don't think it will because he's gonna keep doing this regardless of what the internet trolls say. And that is something to be admired. Okay, that was fun. And those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like that video. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.